Misa propose. Capital Games do what everyone wants them to do and make Misa the next galactic legend. Greetings and hello there, everybody. It's me, your ever loving and beloved and a friendly neighborhood, Star Wars Dad Nooch Too Good. I thought we'd have a little bit of fun today and talk about who might the next galactic legend be in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. We're kind of uh, we're kind of even Steven now. Four light side, four dark side. Don't really know if the next one will be light or dark. I got some ideas, and I'm going to kind of progress through them. A few ideas, a few being three or more, probably more like three. I got three ideas. We're going to progress through them in, in, in what I believe is, is terms of or uh, or scales of likelihood for the next galactic legend, who it might be. And let's start right. Uh, let's start right away. Um, you know, this coming year, 2024, is when the next Galactic Legend will come out. And 2024 is the, uh, I think it's the 25th anniversary of Phantom Menace. And we are lacking, we are lacking a lot of characters from Phantom Menace. I've talked about it before. We're lacking, uh, we're lacking young Obi-Wan. We are lacking all of the Gungans. A, a young Padme, Queen Amidala. These are things we're lacking. And when I look at who might the next Galactic Legend be out of that, I know everybody's kind of thinking like uh, Darth Jar Jar. There's, there's just, there's just no way. <laughs> there's just. I think they would make a ton of money on Darth Jar Jar, but I just don't think that's going to happen. Um, I, I do wonder if Gungans are coming this year, and I kind of wonder if Queen Amidala might be on her way this year. Now there are some some reasons I think that might not be. Now it's a little weird because with the marquees, we know what's coming for for Bo Katan, and that's gonna be probably in January, maybe February, and then we'll probably get like a capital ship. And it's probably gonna be a light side capital ship because we had the Executor, Profanity, we had Leviathan. So we're due for that light side capital ship, and then after that we'll probably get the Galactic Legend. So I don't I just I, I could totally see like a Queen Amidala being a galactic legend, right? The the problem is she didn't really, she wasn't in the movie that much as the queen and she didn't really do much. It'd be like this totally passive queen. It could be young Padme as a galactic legend. I just, I don't know that I see, I don't know that I see that fitting in. And plus we've already got a galactic, we've already got a galactic republic galactic legend and jedi master kenobi now he's more tied to jedi than just regular galactic republic but he still fits in there really strongly with galactic republic in general he's kind of a home for padme in a lot of cases and i also don't see queen amidala or padme lifting a lot of these characters maybe qui-gon not the bad batch not really ahsoka anakin could be lifted with with a with a galactic uh, republic you know our galactic legend Padme or Queen Amidala, of course Padme could, but the, maybe R2, but R2's already, already in the, the Leia team, but a lot of these other characters she doesn't really have any tie-ins with, and I just, you know, if they come out with young young Obi-Wan, that could be somebody, maybe they come out with, with, with little boy Anakin, well that would be a big tie-in, so they could do bar keys for those, I just don't know, I, I think there are other factions that are lacking Galactic Legends, where Galactic Republic is not lacking a Galactic Legend, and so far they have not issued two Galactic Legends for one um, for one faction in the game. Although we do have two Sith, although I keep saying although, you know, Lord Vader is really more tied toward the, for the Empire than Sith. You don't see a lot of Sith action under Lord Vader because he doesn't have a lot of synergy there. The Sith all come with, with Sith Eternal Emperor. So. Maybe with the 25th anniversary of Phantom Menace, you could get a Galactic Legend Padme or Queen Amidala. I'm just not seeing it. I would like to see all the Gungans. I'd like to see Jar Jar for sure. I'd love to see young Obi-Wan. I would even love to see young Anakin. You know, you've got Omega in there. Let's throw young Anakin in. Let's have him be a pilot. Let's have him do some fun stuff. He could do some pod racing. I don't know, whatever. So, maybe that. Uh, that's, that's, I think that's the least likely possibility. Let's look at another faction. There's another faction here that has a lot of characters. In fact, this faction has the most characters by what somebody tells me. I think it has more characters than even the Rebels. If we look at this here and, and you do the math, somebody recently told me, I didn't do the math, I think it's close, that Rebels have less characters than Scoundrels. Now, Scoundrels overlap with a lot of other factions. We've got Bounty Hunters, we've got Rebels, we've got Resistance, uh, we got Ufus in here. Uh, what else do we got? I think that's I think that's the other. Uh, what we got? Mandalorians in here. We've got I don't know what Infus is. Infus Nest. These are smugglers. We had smugglers in here, which yeah, kind of makes sense. Anyway, I, I, there's a lot of overlap here, but there are there there's there's a big smuggler. There's a big scoundrel character 
that's out there that we don't have as, as you know, we, 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 we kind of thought about, we had the early Mando, we had Beskar Mando, and then what about, what about Beskar, you know, the, the Darksaber Mando we've kind of been thinking about, or there's a Mando movie coming out, so you kind of think about Mando down the line, which is kind of why I think maybe this is down the road a bit. I can't think of a lot of other scoundrels that would come in as a Galactic Legend, unless you want to put a, a Galactic Legend Han Solo in there. The problem is there's already so many Han Solos in the game, if we type in Han... You know, how would they how would they do that? You know, oh, we, got, we got Shan and Sean. Uh, Han Solo, Captain Han Solo, Veteran Smuggler Han Solo, Young Han Solo, Stormtrooper Han. I'm not sure where you really fit Galactic Legend Han in there unless he's like Endor Han. Which, by the way, I don't know why we didn't get Endor Han with Leia. That doesn't make any sense to me. I've talked about this many, many times. I don't get it. But, uh, you know, maybe Endor Han. I just I don't see how that makes a Galactic Legend General General Solo, right? Maybe General Solo becomes a Galactic Legend and he's a scoundrel more than he is a rebel. But does it really fit that he's not a rebel? I guess they didn't make Jedi Knight Luke a rebel. So that's a possibility. Mando's also a possibility. But I do think at some point in the near future, there's going to be a scoundrel uh, a scoundrel galactic legend coming and i don't know who it's going to be i think it'll be a light side scoundrel because the dark side scoundrels have a lot of uses but like beskar mando um mandalorian can get on a gills on a bounty hunter team there's a lot of there's a lot of characters in here that don't really have a lot of function young lando young han uh just don't really fit veteran smuggler chewy veteran smuggler han don't really fit in teams and, and lando lando calrissian i'd love to see this guy on a team but maybe there's a galactic legend han solo on the way i just i don't know man i don't know if it fits into the game and what's out there right now and what's missing and it kind of feels like you be they kind of be forcing in you kind of be wedging in a a a han solo galactic legend plus we went jabba a couple years ago then lit this last year we went leia this year we went leia so that was dark and light i feel like a dark side uh galactic legend is coming and that's what leads me to what i think is the most uh the most obvious choice to me and that's darth tyrannus we've already got count dooku in the game but we don't have darth tyrannus i could picture darth tyrannus in here with you know the uh, the clone wars version of count dooku and I really see, you know, when you look at the, the Separatists, there's, now this is the one problem. There's not a lot of room for useful characters here, but they clearly had a, and I don't know which one it is. They clearly had a, a, a Separatist Galactic, there it is. They clearly had a Separatist Galactic Legend in mind when they made a Trench's kit because Separatist allies have this max health, protection, potency, excludes Galactic Legend allies. So. That makes me really think they had a Separatist ally or Separatist Galactic Legend in mind when they came up with this character, Admiral Trench. And Darth Tyrannus makes a lot of sense. There's a lot of Separatist characters. You know, right now, all these Separatists kind of go on a team. They fit somewhere. You know, Saj kind of goes into a Night Sister team, which brings me to my next point here. Let's talk about the Night Sisters a little bit. Count Dooku and the Night Sisters are irrevocably intertwined i just wanted to say some big words they're intertwined in the game and initiate and acolyte really don't they're not relic and, and, and i know gerbil could show you a bunch of math and show you how many i, I whatever the, people don't have initiate and acolyte relic up on their rosters a lot of people don't have spirit either or even talia is kind of lacking although i see more relic talia's than the other three honestly in the rosters i look at every day people still haven't farmed marin in a lot of cases so dooku or Darth Tyrannus having a lot of overlap with Night Sisters. You could even have another Night Sister, like a a second version of Night Sister Spirit, maybe, could reflect the scene where he gets he gets knocked out of bed by the spirits, and he's he's having a, a he's fighting with the spirits in there. You could even bring in young Count Dooku from the the Tales of the Jedi series, or, or young Obi Wan, or young excuse me, young Qui Gon and young Count Dooku could lead to a Darth Tyrannus. I think that would be tremendous. If I look at the opportunities within the game for a dark galactic legend Darth Tyrannus over a separatist squad with like Newt Gunray and maybe Admiral we can't put Admiral Trench in there because it doesn't go with Goli you'd need some more separatists in there and I, I don't know I'm trying to think about I guess you could even put I guess that maybe even Count or not Count Dooku but uh, young Jedi Dooku could fit as a separatist because he kind of made that transition in between I don't know I don't know I don't know who else fits in the separatist but surely we can find some more separatists to throw into this lineup there's plenty of opportunities out there in the game but I'd love to see Darth Tyrannus come to the game he's kind of the guy that I really and plus oh we look at ships let's talk about ships a little bit so when I think about ships 
we're due for that light side, uh, that light side big capital ship, right? And and I think Gerald and I kind of talked about that the Mandalorian ship from from Mandalorian season three. That makes a lot of sense. A Bo Katan coming out with uh, you know with a light side ship that could really fit into the game. If we look at if we look at some of the ships that are out here, we could we could probably move over some of these. Uh, where are we? These uh, scoundrel scoundrel ships over to there. I, I don't know. I like the idea of a Mandalorian capital ship that would need to have some ships to go along with that. But that could be a light side capital ship that comes into the game to balance out light dark light dark. And then maybe the following year is when you get that light side galactic legend, which could be a Mandalorian or it could be Han Solo. And then you get the dark side capital ship to go with Trench. So maybe the dark side capital ship with Trench comes in 2025. Well, you get a light side capital ship this year. And if you get a dark side capital ship with Trench, maybe you're gonna maybe along the way if we get Dark Tyrannus, we get Count Dooku's uh, separatist you know fighter with the with the big sail on it. We got a bunch of other droid ships that could still be dropped into this game that could be that could be layered in over the next year to go with a separatist capital ship. But yeah, these are I I really I would love to see Darth Tyrannus in this game. Darth Tyrannus would make tr a tremendous amount of sense. Of course, his kit would be would be so long I wouldn't have any clue what he's doing. But man, that'd be a lot of fun to have him in a game. Hey, that's all I got. Uh, that's uh, those are my thoughts on it. it the specifics: could, could, could we get a Padme? Could we get a a Han Solo or another version of Mando? Could we get a Darth Tyrannus? Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts for the next Galactic Legend. Who it's going to be? Why you think it's going to be that? I really think the Separatists need a Galactic Legend, and they kind of they kind of poked at a little bit with Admiral Trench. I feel like Darth Tyrannus is a not a not a slam dunk, but I feel like it's a good possibility that he might be on the way. I don't know who else it would be for the Separatists to put as a Galactic Legend. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to you soon, and of course, always remember, Nooch too good.